did Ukraine bomb the Nord Stream pipeline? Over the months, we have heard numerous narratives of who could have been behind the deep sea attack. Was it Russia or was it the CIA? Chances are neither. Leaked Pentagon papers suggesting that it was Ukraine that sabotaged the line. Let me repeat, Ukraine sabotaged the gas pipeline. It was blown up in September 2022, remember? The leaked papers say that Ukraine's original plan was to attack the pipeline in June. Between the 5th and the 17th, on the heels of a major Allied naval exercise called the Baltops. The plan of action was something like this. Six members of Ukraine's special forces would rent a boat, reach the attack site, use a submersible vehicle to dive to the floor of the Baltic, of the Baltic Sea, and then try to destroy the Nord Stream or damage it. And these Ukrainian individuals, by the way, would carry oxygen for the dive, also helium, which is often used in deep sea dives. And how much of this plan was actually implemented? Well, we do know that the Nord Stream damaged. It was damaged. So Ukraine's plan did materialize. Its operation was successful. But there was a slight change in the plan of action. You see, German investigators probing the attack believe that six Ukrainian individuals arrived in Ukraine in September using fake passports. They rented a sailing yacht and then planted explosives on the pipeline. And this was all done at the depth of 240 feet, meaning that the operatives had to be skilled divers. Also, German investigators believe that the Ukrainians did carry helium, which they used underwater to stay focused. Now, guess what? The United States knew about it all along. Apparently, the CIA smelled something fishy months before the leak started. And guess who else knew? The European spy agency. That's right. In fact, it was the EU Intelligence Analysis Center that informed the CIA about Ukraine's plan. So let's just get this straight. We are being told that the US knew the Nord Stream would be blown up. Europe knew the Nord Stream would be blown up. And yet, the Nord Stream was indeed blown up. How does this even work? Why was nothing done to stop an attack on critical infrastructure? Was there not enough time? Were the divers already too close to the pipeline? Also, had they already planted the bombs? Far from it. Like I told you, the pipeline was blown up in September 2022. The spy agencies knew it three months in advance. Three months. And they also knew that those responsible for the attack were reporting directly to this man, Valery Zaluzny. He is Ukraine's commander-in-chief and apparently he was put in charge of the attack so that Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, would not know about the operation, giving him plausible deniability. But did Zelensky really not know what was going on under his nose? You see, this is one of those stories that carry more questions than answers. It is a story of spies and sabotage, of smokes and mirrors and no winners. The attack was on European energy infrastructure. Following it, European gas, pipe, European gas prices shot through the roof. Who paid for it? The people of Europe. For all you know, this is exactly what Ukraine actually wanted. You know, to antagonize Europeans and pin the blame on Russia. So that the anti-Russian sentiment could brew in Europe, nudging the governments to do more, extend more political, material, military support to Ukraine? Well, Ukraine's plan may or may not have actually worked out, but what did European spies actually gain from their inaction? Germany knew about Ukraine's plan. Its spies knew how heavily Germany relies on Russia for gas. And we are talking about half of its gas consumption. 
And yet, Germany sat on the information. Reports say German intel personnel did brief some lawmakers about what actually was going on, about what was cooking. But to what end, really? And what was the CIA doing all along? There were three underwater explosions on the 26th of September last year. Both the North Stream and the North Stream 2 stood damaged. The US President Joe Biden called it a deliberate act of sabotage. In Denmark, the country's Prime Minister said it is hard to imagine that it is accidental. The Polish Prime Minister said that we can clearly see that it is an act of sabotage. In fact, some Western leaders hinted that Russia could be trying to blackmail Europe you know, by punching holes in the pipeline ahead of the winter season. And over nine months on, there is no evidence linking the Kremlin to the Nord Stream sabotage. Instead, today, the world is looking at Ukraine, at its military and at its president. Also at the West, of course. Will they hold Ukraine accountable? German investigators have been able to match the residue of the explosives to the traces found inside the cabin of the yacht. So there is evidence. They've also been able to trace the company that owns the yacht. But the question is, how will Europe use this information? Will Ukraine be asked tough questions or will the findings of the probe be used to bubble wrap the next batch of defense equipment that Europe sends to Ukraine? The White House is silent, and we honestly are not surprised because, you see, the U.S. never wanted the North Stream to actually take off. Former President Donald Trump, remember, had sanctioned the pipeline. Biden waived the sanctions, but continued to pressurize Germany into dropping phase two of the project. America fears that natural gas being transported directly into Germany from Russia will flow against American interests in Europe. And it's another story that Germany did finally halt the final authorization of Nord Stream 2 days before the war started. So that was the answer to whether you should expect the West to pull up Ukraine. So now let's look at whether the West should pull up Kiev. And the answer is yes. You see, attacks like these are bound to set in motion an eye for an eye effect leaving the warring countries and their allies bereft of critical infrastructure. Also, if you look at the war so far, that is exactly what has happened. There have been repeated attacks on critical infrastructure, resulting, resulting in economic loss, loss of lives, of course, loss of future for an entire generation that finds itself caught in the crossfire. And like we have been telling you, the Nord Stream was blown up in September. Here's what happened in October. Russia attacked Ukraine's energy facilities. The same month, a critical Crimean bridge was blown up. Russia responded by attacking more energy infrastructure. And these attacks and counterattacks re recently resulted in a flood. And this is what parts of Ukraine look like right now, courtesy the collapse of the country's fifth largest dam. The Kakovka Dam did not collapse naturally. It was blown up. By whom is the question? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.